Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you 10 iMessage tips and tricks. If you want to see another one of my tips and tricks videos, 5 iPhone tips and tricks, click on the card above. If you have any suggestions for videos I should make in the future, comment them down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. The first iMessage trick I'm going to show you today is how to filter unknown senders. This creates a tab at the top of the app to toggle between text from your contacts and text from numbers that are not in your contacts. To enable this, go to the Settings app and scroll down to Messages. Tap on that, scroll to Filter Unknown Senders, and enable the switch. Now there is a selector at the top of the Messages app that lets you switch between contacts and unknown senders. When you get a message from an unknown sender, there will not be a notification and will only show a number next to the Unknown Senders tab. Click on the tab to see all the messages by unknown senders. The next trick I'm showing you is how to add a subject field to your text. First open settings, then scroll down and select messages. Now scroll down and enable show subject field. When you are texting someone, there is now a place to type a subject. This could be useful if you are typing a long message. It isn't required to type something in the subject field, and you can type normal iMessages without a subject by not putting anything in the subject field. This tip is how to enable or disable sending read receipts which means when you have read a text, it tells the person who sent it that you have seen it. To do this, open Settings and once again go to Messages, then scroll down and enable or disable Send Read Receipts. This will be applied to everyone who you are texting. You can also show read receipts for just one person. Open iMessage and go to your conversation. From there, click on their name, info, and enable Send Read Receipts. In iMessage, you can send text with effects. To do this, just hold down on the send button and a selection screen will appear. You can choose any of the bubble effects, or you can use a screen effect by tapping screen in the top right. There are lots of cool effects, great for many occasions. To send the text, press the blue arrow button. When an audio message is sent and played, it expires two minutes after, but it is possible to keep these for a longer period of time. Open settings and scroll down to messages. Then scroll down to the audio messages header. Go into expire and select after one year. Now the audio messages will stay for an entire year instead of two minutes. Text messages are also automatically deleted. To change this, open settings and go to messages. From there, scroll down and open keep messages. Here you can select 30 days, 1 year, or forever. To save storage on your device, you can turn on a feature that sends images at a lower quality without a noticeable difference. To enable this, open settings and go to messages. Scroll down and turn on low quality image mode. When you send an image with this on, it looks exactly the same as an image sent with this feature off, but it decreases the amount of storage it takes up. To hide alerts from a certain person, click on their name, hit info, and enable hide alerts. You can take a picture and send it directly to someone by pressing the camera icon in the bottom left. Take the picture and press the blue arrow button to send it. You can also send already taken photos quickly by tapping the photos icon in the bottom left. You can send recent photos here, or if you need photos from before these, tap all photos and all photos again. This trick was suggested to me by Twitch streamer Flying HUD, so make sure to go check him out and give him a follow. If you want to pretend like you're typing, but you're actually doing something else, you can send an image to fake it. You can select it like an actual image, so it won't last long, but it's good for a little joke or something. Here is what the image looks like when somebody else sends it. If you want the image, click on the link in the description to download it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.